Mike Abs and Shannon Sharp are beefing. Two of great comedian and sports analysts. But Shannon Sharp was once a football player. He's a Hall of Famer. He used to play for the Baltimore Ravens and the Denver Broncos. Mike Abs is a comedian and he's hilarious. He's been quite a lot of movies that I really genuinely enjoyed. Also, but this come in a stage where this argument and this little beef come between those two because Mike Abb decided to say stuff on his comedy show on stage while he was performing about things about Shannon Sharp. So we're going to take a look at that and see what exactly what I say and then we're going to look into what Shannon Sharp said about the whole thing that went on. That nigga Shannon Sharp called me trying to do an interview. I said no Medea, I ain't doing no interview. Dang. So you can sit across from me and look at my balls, I'm sitting down nigga. I thought he was going to attack that, that nigga there. A lot of people have been accusing Shannon Sharp to be kind of like homosexual and gay, but it hasn't been proven or anything or whatsoever, but that's where the context is coming in at. The nigga shit is called Shay Shay. The nigga's telling you. Put a wig on that nigga tell me if that ain't motherfucking Medea's sister, nigga. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so that was where it was coming at and there's also some topic on pretty much like Shannon Sharp was coming in saying Mike Apps was supposed to come to his show and he, there was a whole re uh, receipts Mike Apps was asking him to come to Club Shay Shay but now it seems like he took offense to it and he's trying to twist it around saying that's not the case and now Mike Apps is just calling out Club Shay Shay or Shannon Sharp calling him that like it's a grown man calling him himself club Shay Shay that's telling you something and then also re restated also put a wig on it that's <laughs> that's my dear oh that's crazy that is an outlandish outlandish take so we're going to take a look at now Shannon Sharp's uh, rebuttal to that first of all this is what he says and this is how he responded to it and I'm going to release the DMs because yeah. you're lying yeah. you said I reached out to you to come on club Shay Shay and let me lie now, when I, I see you, yeah. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see if you're about um, that. Okay? I'm going to see if you want to say what you've been saying on yeah. trying to get some jokes because yeah. you got mad because Cat Williams did what he did. Now, yeah. now when I see you, yeah. I'm going to see if you really about that. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm going to oh. see if the, him talking all that yeah. when he wore them tight ass leather pants Ooh. trying to be funny. Ooh. But I'm going to see if you're about that. Yeah, say my name again. Yo, Shannon Sharp is like, yo, it's green light for you, man. It's go time. If I ever see you in public, me and you, it is on. Like, honestly, I feel like a lot of people fail to realize like that. Like, Shannon Sharp is a big guy. So you got to stop messing around with him and stuff like that. This was on the response. I think it's called Nightclub. And that was his podcast with uh, Ocho Cinco. So which is and uh, very intelligent. Telling you pretty much like what he's in saying is like, yo, when I see you, it's on. Now be, hey, so be like yeah. Destiny Child and talk about say my name, say my name. Jeez. And I got something for your ass. That Damn. bother me is that you lied Oof. and you didn't have to. Say your little joke, get your little laugh off, have fun, but just don't lie and said I said something when yeah. I didn't. Mm. Know who you are, mofo. Yeah. 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 I'm calling you a mofo. Now, yeah. when I see you, boy, I promise you, I'm going to pull up. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm yeah. gonna see if you bought that. Oh my god, it gets it gets way worse. It get like now Mike Apps actually responded back to Shannon Sharp. Oh, this is gonna be incredible. Um, it's very funny, but like it's the the fact of the matter is like the man said, I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up on you. And that's that's crazy. A grown man saying that to you, you know you did something to trigger him so bad at to a point that he wants to do that. Let's take a look at Mike App and see what he responded, how he responded to it. Shay Shay. I don't know what grown ass man got a name, baby Shay Shay, but I know this grown man is not mad at me. So many people talk crazy about you. They was on Saturday Night Live talking about you, imitating you, but now you want to fight me? Now, I'm not going to lie. I did DM you to get on the show. Yeah, okay. But I DM'd you to get on the show because you brought my name up. Mm. When you were sitting there with Cat, mm. trying to get him to talk 
crazy about me, but he didn't. Mm. Okay. Now, second of all, talking about pulling up on me. You're going to be an all-star. I'm going to be at the all-star in my hometown. And I'm going to see you. Mike Half is one of those people that seems very unbothered, but like he's clearing the air saying, no, you said so. You're trying to get cats to say things about me, which was not the fact of the matter is you was saying stuff about me. So that's the only reason why he did. And then he's always saying, which is true, which is true. There's a video that I'm, I'm, I'm working on also where a certain comedian, like I'll say comedian slash like, um, pop, he does it on this podcast talking about pop Shasha, right? Talking about Shannon Sharp and uh, about his uh, sexuality and whatnot, but which is interesting because he, my cap is like, Hey, listen, I'm just saying what everybody else is saying. That's it. You're not mad at everybody else, but you're mad about me. You mad about the fact that I say things like this. Now you want to say this, but hey, the All-Star is on my hometown. Pull up, dude. I'm going to be there. I'll see you. This is where you see he's very unbothered by it, which is going to be interesting to see, and we're going to see how uh, Shannon Sharp reacted. All right. I'm going to see you, brother. And I'm just letting you know, I don't be doing no fighting lately. I don't do no fighting. So... You know, it's only other one other option. If you don't fight, you do blank, 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 blank. And Ocho, you shut up and go get some <laughs> eyebrows. You looking like a whole milk dud sitting there agitating. We watched the white boy kick your ass on TV. So you shut up. And Shay Shay, you did look like Medea sitting there. Oh my God. You looking zesty. I'm not oh. saying you gay, but you was looking zesty. Ooh. sitting there. You need to take them tight ass shirts off with the muscles. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This man, <laughs> my cap is crazy. <laughs> he brought it on you. He had to bring it on you. Like you look like a milk dud. Oh wow, that that one was uncalled for. Honestly, he's like, yo, listen, I don't do much fighting, but I could get the strap for you. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I'm not a fighter, but like I come packing. So that just tells you, like, he's like, yo, listen, if you pull up on him, he knows he can't take you. So guess what? He's gonna do that. That's just crazy. Two grown men. I like both of them. They shouldn't be fighting and doing stuff like this. It's just beyond them. They just need to act up and you know, behave with, with one another and just like squash this beef. That's really what it is. We don't need all this senseless violence or anything like that. Let me know what you guys think of this video. If you guys enjoyed it or not, you guys think this beef is even warranted to be paying attention or anything of that sort of matter, because honestly, I think it's a waste of time. And I just think these two grown men just need to sit down and hash it out and talk it out. But that's going to be it guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.